It is the first day of early voting in the state of Tennessee, and presidential hopeful Mike Bloomberg took the day to speak to voters in Chattanooga this afternoon. Channel 3's Joy Dukes was there at his rally earlier today. She joined us to tell us what happened. Joy, how many people turned out there? Well, Greg Calvin, he had quite the turnout. Actually, they weren't even expecting as many people as they had. They had overflow, and then they also had hundreds of people who were just standing outside, hoping to maybe shake his hand or talk to him for just a few short minutes. Uh, he's actually the first presidential candidate to make his way to Chattanooga and even opened up an office here just a few weeks ago. Uh, earlier today, he addressed voters inside the Bessie Smith Cultural Center with his plans on winning the White House. His message is simple. I am running to defeat Donald Trump. And Chattanooga voters were all ears Wednesday. We like Mike! We like Mike! Or at least most were. That is not democracy! That is plutocracy! As former New York City Mayor Mike Bloomberg shared why in a last minute bid, he's decided to run for president. I am running to restore honor to our government and to build a country that we can be proud of and to start getting things done. Calling himself the un-Trump. Even though Donald and I are both from New York, the truth is we could not be more different. And garnering endorsements from not only members of the National Black Democratic Caucus, but also local NAACP leadership. And I know what racism looks like. I know what it looks like, and that's not Mike Bloomberg. Bloomberg addressed issues from the controversial statements he made regarding a policy known as stop and frisk. Do you apologize words, for those, those remarks? Words don't reflect the way that I've governed or the way that I run my company or the way that I live. To gun reform. Getting it done means passing common sense gun safety laws that protect our children and our community. And even climate change, praising Chattanooga for its efforts. Getting it done means making America a global leader in the fight against climate change and following Chattanooga's lead on conservation. With only a short time until the national primary election, he says he's hoping voters from the volunteer state will help him get it done and bring home the win. Well, despite early caucus numbers showing Pete Buttigieg and Bernie Sanders as favorites, uh, Bloomberg will continue on to Salt Lake City, where he's hoping to continue garnering votes. Uh, and uh, that's three weeks from Super Tuesday. Reporting live in Chattanooga, Joy Dukes, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.